And in other local news, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis, through the St. Kitts Electricity Company, or SKILEC, has renegotiated the Laclanche or SA Solar Power Farm deal. The deal was initially signed in 2019-2020 with the Switzerland-based company to construct a 35.7 megawatt solar field and a 45.7 lithium battery energy storage system under a 20-year agreement with automatic five-year renewal. During power talk on Wednesday, Honorable Conris Maynard, Minister of Energy and Public Infrastructure, spoke of the terms of the New Deal and the $80 million project. One, the project must have defined timelines. Mm -hmm. So we can't sign something today and then a year later, nothing happening. And, you know, um, somebody just have a, has a signed document going around the world saying that they're going to be able to do this. No, we've put um, dedicated deadlines in the contract um, that the developers can, can default if they do not meet these deadlines because we have deadlines mm -hmm. for our transition. And so that is one thing that was um, significantly strengthened. Another important part, of course, is price. We were able to renegotiate um, lower pricing mechanisms and also, importantly, and this also will affect the price, is that now resident citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis can invest in this project through Skellic and bring down the price further and keep the returns of investments to local investors. The minister gave an example of investment opportunities that are envisioned. So for instance, if this project, which is about an $80 million project, if a group of persons decided that they wanted to put in um, $10 million, $15 million, they raised the capital to do so, they will now enjoy the return on investments of that money that they put in mm -hmm. so that you can keep it here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, additionally, um, the, the amount that obviously you put in, the price we have to pay to the developer reduces. So if you put in 20 million, let's say they, they were charging, um, uh, let, I'm just calling cents, uh, 50 cents EC. I'm just calling a figure. Mm -hmm. If we put in 10, 20 million, it will reduce by a certain amount. So it's going to be um, very important for us to look to see how we can invest. With construction set to begin in the second quarter of 2024, he spoke of anticipated jobs. Right, so we anticipate that about 200 um, local jobs will be created throughout the construction okay. phase of this particular project. And those elements will come um, over the next couple of months, the opportunity to be a part of, 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 of these. Um, we thought perhaps that the order in which it was done the last time might not have been the best because you didn't have everything in, in place first before you went and, and did that. Mm -hmm. um, but now we have reorganized, we have restructured it, we have um, firmed it up um, such that our our interests are protected, that is Skellig and the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, um, but there are going to be multiple opportunities. Not only that, there will be other services that will be associated to provide support for the project, not just employment on the job site, but they're going to need all kinds of other things in the society. And we anticipate that that is going to be about $10 million mm -hmm. US into the, into, into the economy. The solar field will be located on the Bastia Valley on a 102 acre plot of land.